Today's adventure begins here at this 7-Eleven here on International Drive as the recording of this Saturday, March 16th, 2024. I have a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Spoiler alert, I did not buy this coffee from this 7-Eleven. I got it from the Celebration one. And I got some new glasses here. I think they were like $15. Very, very metal. But I figured it'd be appropriate to start the video right here at the South Concourse where it says Electrify Expo. I see an electric vehicle going by. I'm heading to a convention today of the electric persuasion. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. And all the years I've been around this area, never realized that over by the convention center is a Orange County fire station back over in here. Right here off the off ramp on I Drive Convention Center. Over there, now I own two electric vehicles. One of them being my Jim E2, and I also, which is a glorified golf cart, more or less, and then I also have a scooter that plugs into the wall, which would be electric. Don't know if I'm gonna purchase anything today, but there's gonna be a cavalcade of non-gas powered transportation devices. I'm gonna just do a little window shopping, even though I think it's outdoors. So there probably won't be any windows, except on the electric vehicle cars. Maybe I'll see something I've never seen before. Maybe I'll go home with something. Maybe I won't. Nonetheless, whatever happens, I'm inviting you to join me. It's good to have you here. Shall you? South Concourse is what I was told to be on the lookout for by that sign back there. So I'm rolling with some 7-Eleven coffee and 7-Eleven sunglasses both purchased at the 7-Eleven celebration. It's like they're having a pet expo in here too. I don't have any pets, but if I did, I'd probably pop in there and check that out. I guess I still, I still could walk over there and see what's going on too. A little overcast today, a little dreary, not too sunny, which I'm fine with. I probably won't get a sunburn out. This is an outdoor event. I believe it is $20 admission. I don't know what they're gonna be. Watch, watch parking be the same price as admission. I'm gonna say it probably is. Cash only payment at tool, toll booth? Hey, that was untrue. They took credit cards. It was 1065. He asked what event I was here for. I said the Electric Expo. So said 1065, he held out the credit card scanner. I did have cash, but it seemed as if they only wanted credit cards, even though the sign said differently. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these. This is a VW Bug, definitely a different style. Never parked over in this area before. This is not the backside of water, it's the backside of the Orange County Convention Center, right on International Drive. And I was just saying how it's overcast a little cloudy over that way, but behind me, the sun is coming out. So as soon as I got out of my car, the sun was like beaming down on my neck. So I could be wrong. Maybe the sun will pop out. Yeah, it's showing 76 degrees at the moment. It's going to warm up to 81 by 1 p.m. And it's not showing rain, just showing, just showing it to be overcast. Three o'clock, the sun's really going to pop out with 84 degrees. Probably won't be here that long now. I think the event ends at 5. Right now it's 11.10. Oh, it's like they're starting some demos out there, or probably already have started. Ooh. All right, gotta find where the entrance to this thing is. It's all gated off. Now, there's two options. There's already have tickets. You can purchase them online. They're $20 online, I believe $20 at the door. There was a code you could use to save $5, but in order to use that, you had to fill out a whole thing with email, whole process. I thought, you know what? I'll just save that $5 and just show up here. I knew it wasn't gonna sell out. I didn't think it was gonna sell out. So I've just opted not to do the already have tickets this way, but to go through the box office over that way. Take a look at this thing. Look at this little car. Wouldn't the ultimate irony, well, irony might, might not be the right word, but if there was a really tall electric vehicle that destroyed because they didn't abide by this low overhang and took out one of these solar panels, isn't it ironic? Wouldn't it be ironic, don't you think? 
I don't think I'm using the word irony right. All right, there's a little bit of a line over here. You got the little checkpoints to go in and all that. General admission tickets is what I'm looking for right down here. North America's largest e-mobility festival. All right, no outside drinks allowed, even though the event is outside. So I've got to polish this off. Oh yeah. And a lot of events I've noticed that sometimes when you purchase tickets ahead of time, it's a longer line than if you just go up and buy tickets. It's kind of hit or miss. You never really know if that's going to be the case. But the line is like three times as long for those who have already bought tickets than it is if you just walk up and purchase the tickets. It was like a comic convention I went to recently that was kind of the same way. All right, underneath this tent, I'm overhearing some of the workers. I guess we have to fill out a waiver before I can walk in here. Well, I have to fill out a waiver. It's just me here. All right, all done. It actually ended up being $24.99. So it was $24.99. I filled out the waiver. They said even miners have to sign the waiver. But I forgot to bring my pickaxe and my mining helmet to go through caves, but I still had to still had to sign it. Also, no smoking. I'm not a smoker, so it doesn't really affect me. But signs, signs, everywhere is signs. What's the what's the something about cigarettes? Blocking up the cigarette, something in my mind. Do this, don't you know what's that that song is by Tesla, and I bet Tesla will have something out. Not the band, but the company will have something out here. And I still did have to give an email even to purchase the tickets. Like, why do you guys need my email? I could have I mean if I would have bought the one online. So of course I gave my email, John Cocktoast and at Fletch.com. And take a look at this, where in a normal car where the engine would be, they're giving out complimentary waters over here in the front of this thing. This is a Ford Mustang electric vehicle. Ooh, also there are BMW. W is represented here as well. Upgraded model starts at 35K, which is kind of what a normal car costs in the same age. Ooh, the Rivians. These are freaking nice right here. Look at this, they got the they got the little room up there for the, the bicycles. These things have some serious, serious power. I have a buddy who gave me a ride in one of these. And let me tell you, this thing's got this thing's got a little kick to it, a little, little punch behind it. Yeah, very roomy. Got the side of the surfboards up top there. Pretty nice, pretty dang. I don't know if I'll ever buy an electric car. I like electric stuff, but I don't know. Like for road trips and stuff, I don't know if I don't know if it's my time to get an electric car. Yeah, I even have room for a full-size tent up here. You can go camping on top of it. Wait a second, you can go camping up there. You pull that down, at least climb it to the top. Look at that. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, they climb you up the, you climb up the ladder, and the ladder acts as a stability mechanism for the tent itself, all right? Ah, yeah, these things are freaking awesome. Wow, look at that backup camera. Got a little chalk outlying, outlining down here. Got a little squid, an octopus, so it's supposed to be a Rivian right here and possibly a mascot of some sort right here. Yeah, maybe, is this like Rivian or is it the Electrify Expo mascot? I'm not really sure. Either way, either way, it almost looks like it looks like Big the Foot's brother. Oh, got some uh, some merch. Got a little swag action over here. Let's take a look and see what they got right there. They got the, uh, the logos, the Electrify logos. Yeah, you gotta have gotta have that merch. Uh, Adam is here from Anchor. Anchor is, uh, they, they've got some really cool products as it relates to powering There must be another life. Adam here. Yeah, definitely the Tesla area is super, super, super busy in Cram. It's a beehive of activity in here. Ah, uh, I see why. They have the Cybertruck in here right here. Designed to be the world's toughest truck. And there is a queue line to look at. Now, instead of waiting in that line with all those people to get a photo, I just decided to walk around this other side to get a little bit better view at the Cybertruck itself. Yeah, that thing is pretty dang cool. I don't I mean, you, if you were driving one of those things down the road, you would definitely get, it was definitely a conversation starter, and you get tons of people would constantly be taking pictures of your car. It'd be like driving a DeLorean. Uh, what's with the iced coffee? Oh, sac sacrilege. Complete sacrilege. Why wouldn't they just give out hot coffee? I mean, I guess it is Florida, so. Yeah. 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 Charge, uh, a little podcast over here. Coffee. Like, I need to use it for a moment. But also, too, you, can you pair something like, let's say, again, you're, you're shopping chargers. at Amazon and you Look get this affordable thing. solar, it's called an anchor. You know, solar kit. And you can put that's that freaking into great. the battery. Look at that. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, that's a, can, that's I mean, awesome. I've run, I had a hurricane happen 
last two years ago, whatever it was, and I had a couple of our products. I was going to say, I think yeah, you're also like a product tester, so you have like 45 Correct. around the house. Right? Something like that. Maybe oh, like 45. That, no, that's actually, that brings up the next, the next good point, is for those who are looking at getting ready. Man, look at these, Super 73. Well, at least that's what that says. Take a look at these, they're like little like dirt bike motorcycles, but I guess they're electric? Yeah, I mean, I guess it would kind of, yeah, they have to be electric right here at the, the convention that involves all electric, yeah, it's called a Super 73 right here. Please do not touch. You get really close to touching, but don't, don't touch. There's also the Jackrabbit. There's a little area called the Jackrabbit Grand Prix over here where you can test out these kind of like little small electric bikes called the Jackrabbits right there. You can go around the cones. Their slogan is tiny but mighty right here. Look at this, tiny but mighty. That's like a, that's a gong. Look at it. It's on like the gong show here. I like the idea of the dirt bike, like an electric dirt bike. That that right there would be hard for me to fit. Oh, this is like the, uh, it's like a bar, well, it's pink, so I'll say it's Barbie. It's like a Barbie uh, miniature on top of the full size. Electric. Oh, that even says Louis Vuitton down in here. Very stylish. Got the baby girl on the side right there. Yeah, baby girl Tesla. That's what this is called. Look at this thing. <laughs> I wonder if this probably comes off too. You can probably, I wonder if this thing cruises around as well. Ooh, Pink Panther back in the back there. The I Love Barbie button. It's like a little, uh, like an award. It's a major award. Got a little camera mount on this one right here. This little, I'm not sure if this is it for sale or it's a display or a promotion thing, or maybe they're just using it for the event. Oh yes, golf carts. Golf carts galore. This is called the Bentelli. Now, one of the major reasons I bought my Gem E2 is because it has a VIN number and a tag on it and everything like that. In celebration, it has to be licensed and registered and insured. So that, there was plenty of other options I could have got for glorified golf carts, but I went with, and I could have got, got a regular golf cart and modified it to have the tag on and have them put, you know, modified it, put a VIN number on. But I just went with the Gem E2 because it is already set up for that, and I really liked it when I test drove it. Oh yeah, here's another camper on top. This is called the Eye Camper. It's on the back right here. Look at this thing. I mean, this is freaking awesome. Is that like an air conditioner vent that goes inside the tent? Or maybe, I don't know what that is. I think it's like an air conditioner vent that goes inside the tent. You got the little seats out front here. A little mobile camping. Boy, the game has changed. The game has definitely changed since I was living in the van. Ooh, sunk it. There's a tent, or just a regular tent right there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 100% electric, super air, nautique, or nautic boat right there. 100% electric boat into the outdoor recreation area, even though the whole event is outdoors. Again, this is the North America's largest e-mobility festival. And I didn't even really know about this until a few days ago. <laughs> we got the e-bikes going by here. People testing them out. And as far as a regular bicycle goes, I kind of like just having a, a regular pedal-powered bicycle. But the whole dirt bike thing, the off-road thing, oh man, that would be pretty nice like those ones I was looking at. Look at those, are so freaking cool looking. But is it still, I wonder if it feels like you're really riding a bike when you're on one of them. I mean, yeah, I know you're riding a bike, but does it really feel like you're really doing anything? Yeah, well, I guess a motorcycle, you're doing something. There's a pretty good turnout out here too. There's actually quite a few people. Look at this thing. Bad motor. It's like a trike. Get some good food, get your groceries on it. From this point, you can only walk, which I'm walking, but if you were on, a motorized device, you have to stop there and just take it on foot. <laughs> These are similar, kind of similar to the ones I have. Different brand, but. All right, this one's wild. The wheels on this almost look like the same diameter wheels that are on a one wheel type of item. But this one has got like a little golf cart, a little uh, golf bag rack in the back. But it definitely has that same vibe as like the one wheel 
with wheels. Yeah, there's a Porsche right there. And I kind of feel like you never know in five, 10 years or even less, eh, five or 10 years, it's probably gonna be pretty, uh, pretty overwhelming how much everything will be electric. It's the wave of the future. Okay, more EV demos this way. A lot going on out here. Oh, so these are not cars parking. These are automotive demonstrations that you can, wow. So you can full on drive any of the cars. This is an expansive setup. I can see why they're doing this outdoors now. All right, here's the line to take a ride in the car. You feel the power of the Ford. I am a Ford guy. I've had Fords for a long time. So quiet. Really wild. Like a glove. I was just listening in on the conversation over here. Kia, I believe that is, saying it's probably like a 20, 30 minute wait or more to be able to get in, just to go in. And some of the ones aren't accessible, so it's kind of, I won't say luck of the draw with getting whichever vehicle you need to get in, but some of the ones have a longer wait than others. Paraphrasing what that guy was saying to the people that are waiting on. E-skateboard demo zone. Probably one wheels, things like that, and skateboards. First time I ever saw an electric skateboard was back, I believe it was 2015. I went really down a deep rabbit hole, started watching a lot of Casey Neistat when he was in New York. Really kind of, really stepped it up, stepped it up a notch when it came to like daily vlogging. Then a lot of people started to kind of emulate him and then he retired from doing the daily. He still does the videos occasionally, but I was really into stuff and he really, I think he promoted drones and electric skateboards probably more than any other YouTuber at that time. So that's where I first saw one. I think I'm too uncoordinated and a little too old to be attempting to try to do an electric skateboard. I've always thought maybe a one wheel might be a little easier, but I don't know. I, I, think, I think I'm past my prime when it comes to stability on a board. And to be completely honest, I never even really had stability on a board, so... No reason to start now. I like, I like a scooter that you can hold on to. Or an electric cart, glorified golf cart. Even though this, holy cow, this is pretty dang awesome. I like some too. Little guy rolling there. Yeah. Did you ride? Oh, no, bike is No, I So it doesn't really need a kickstand. It kind of just stands on its own. How'd you like the, uh, the skateboard thing? <clears throat> What's the starting price on these? It's cool. I'll use it over. Oh, What's the starting price on these? How much? Thirty-two hundred. Okay. Oh, you ride on just a balance wheel thing. No, we are not test driving the scooter right They're not test driving it. Between three and four thousand dollars starting price. Pyramids. The pyramids. I like they provided lots of shading for people who want to just kind of enjoy being out of the sun. Got the Florida Juice Company right there. Got a whole cavalcade. Food trucks. Yeah, definitely a lot going on out here. That's almost like a queue line for cars. Just testing them out. Going around. Two, coming two. Oh, I was pulling in. Pull it into the station for whatever reason. Maybe that person's person gonna purchase one, or maybe not. Is this like a whole lineup? It's like non stop testing going on. I wonder what the band Tesla thinks about the popularity of the automobile Tesla. For the inventor that created the Tesla coil. 
I think he's, he's passed away many years ago, though, so he probably doesn't have a thought process on it. Get that turn radius. Very, very quiet. It's like almost like eerily quiet. Yeah, this is definitely the most awkward highlight of the whole event right here, the Cybertruck though. I mean, the tires are huge. The whole thing is just very, you don't really, yeah, it's definitely, I don't want to say an eyesore, but it's eye-catching, very eye-catching. Uh, I guess it has its purpose. I don't know what the purpose is, but yeah, I mean, look at the size of the tires down here. The tires are, it's, even the tires are a statement. Yeah, you don't really see, uh, you don't really see tires that look like that too often on the road. The cyber truck, you can even see the emblem right there in the front from Tess. I think that one had more of a chance. Cyber truck. And this is the line to wait to get into the other line over there to get the cyber truck. It's probably a good 20 30 minute wait. To get a photo inside the cyber truck. Alright, leaving the convention now, but evidently it stretches out here too, where you can test the bikes. Got a little board there, goes around, follow the path around. I think I'm gonna walk around the front of the convention center. Also a nice little tie-in. This is a thin film laminate system, solar PV system one. All these out in front of the convention center are also solar panels, solar panels right here. Made this little circle around the convention center proper. Where I was attending is over there. My car's over here. Now, if I had an electric scooter, I could have scooted around the entire convention center building, even though there's more convention center buildings farther down I drive, but this is the main one. And then where I went was in the parking lot. Now, as far as electric stuff, I don't know if I'll ever, any time in the near future, buy an electric car. I kind of like having a gas car, and the reason for that is when I do go on road trips, now I'll preface this by saying, if I ever bought one, if I ever stopped taking my own personal vehicle on road trips and traveling, let's say I only rented a car for road trips, I would like to have a gas vehicle simply because for me, it's a time thing. You want to, when you're driving, you want to just pull over, fill the car up and go, not have to look for a charging station, not have to go through that whole process. But I could see how it would be very beneficial for people who are just local. If you're not going to do a lot of traveling in it. Now I know there'll there is a, definitely a, uh, an aspect of, oh, you can still travel, you can still find, you can go on the little screen and find where the chargers are. There's superchargers and things like that. But if you kind of want to go out in the middle of nowhere, go into the nether regions of the U.S., into the desert sections, last thing you want to be doing is trying to find a charger and then park, and then, oh, I got, you know, I got 30 minutes, 45 minutes, I got to go get something to eat and kill some time and all that kind of stuff. So for me, I think it makes more sense for me in traveling to have a, a gas vehicle for now, but my opinion could change. Now, I will say, localized, it does make, it does kind of make sense to have one that you could just pull in the garage, charge it. You know, if I was to go to the theme parks, if I was to just drive around to Orlando, even drive a couple hundred miles and come back, you don't have to worry about finding a charger. I could see that aspect being very, 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 very appealing. And I also kind of like the off-road dirt bike electric thing. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look more into those. But didn't buy anything today, and I don't know if I'll ever buy a one wheel. Like again, I don't think I'm coordinated enough for a one wheel. Nonetheless, that's gonna do it for today. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. I saw the Cybertruck in the wild. First time I've ever seen it with my own eyes. The vlog is over.